shave. It's a sample Sunday shave today. So we're going with a sample from Sterling. lovely scent. Uh, the scent described as an intensely masculine blend of citrus notes, sandalwood um, and dense musk. You know, dense base of musk, cedar and ambergris. Alright, I'll leave the um, scent description here for a few seconds and then I'll follow that by the uh, sterling ingredients just now. Right, the other new thing I've got today is a new bowl. It's a lovely handmade bowl, Australian made from central New South Wales. It's got the nice rings in the bottom. It's quite light for a porcelain bowl. It's, a, it, it's quite thin, a bit like porcelain. A ceramic bowl. I don't think it's actually porcelain. But it could be. That's no, a lovely bowl. So we're using that today. That comes from Whispers from the Woods. Uh, so they also do uh, Australian soaps as well. The brush we're using is the Shave by Dave brush from my rock pool, one of my favourites, with a cashmere knot, 26mm. I'll just stick that in the water to soak. How's everybody going? Uh, it's a lovely day here, lovely sunny day, good spring day, not windy, beautiful. I'll just put some pre-shave on. Just working the face with, with um, some warm water. Verde. My Verde activated charcoal cube. <laughs> I call it a cube. It's just a glycerin soap. Not specially made for shaving. I'll leave the link down below the video of where you can get this. You can get it on Etsy. You don't have to get that particular soap. Um, any good glycerin soap is good. Right, we'll move to the other camera now and um, start the loading. Oh, I've got a half a teaspoon of soap ready to go. We'll squash that in the bottom of the bowl and um, start the lather. We'll see you shortly. Hi, we're at the lathering station. Before we get into that, I'll just show you the razor. We've got um, the Yaki, I can put it up the right way, Yaki razor today with the um, coil handle. Put it closer to the camera. The blade's nicely aligned there. So we're using that today, and the blade we're using is the Rapira Swedish Super Steel. It's on its um, second shave. Right, we'll now progress to the lathering. So I'll have my Brush soaking there, so I'll just shake it out. Four shakes. Just 
just around the handle. Put a bit of alum on my fingers. Alright, we'll start. Just swirling around. Clockwise and anti-clockwise. Clock crossways. Just mostly the tips. Really nice, as you can see, nice pasty leather to start with. Okay, I'll put a bit of water in it now. Oh, my water bottle's empty, I'll just put some water in it. Sorry about that, wasn't ready. Right, I'm just spray it in the bottom of the bowl. Keep swirling. You can hear by the bangs that it's a little bit of a ring sound, so. That indicates a nice thin pottery. Look at that, it's a really nice. As you expect from sterling. It's already lovely and shiny. So if you a couple more squirts. Look at that shine there. Hopefully you can see it. That's beautiful. I think um, a few more squirts should do it. Yeah, that's looking really nice. There we go. Beautiful leather. Very shiny. So that's what we'll go with. We'll swap back to the other camera now and um, start the shave. All right, back from the, the lathering station. And we have a, a lovely Shiny leather there. Beautiful. Alright. I've already introduced the razor, so we'll get straight into it. Oh, hang on. Wet the face again. Beautiful. 
Scents really nice. This is a, a good medium scent, medium strength. Oh, well, you can see it on my face, but there's a lovely shine coming off that leather. Beautiful. Mm, lovely scent. And the razor, heat the just put an alum on my fingers, get ready. Not that you need it with a nice well knurled handle like this one. So here we go. Very smooth. Getting good protection and slickness. Or oh, excellent slickness. Oh, yeah, it's slippery. You can't go wrong with sterling soap. It's very economical, even in Australia. It's less than, uh, in Australia, it's less than $30 Australian or six ounces. Or 100 and, or six ounces, or about six ounces, 160 grams, I believe, around there. Get it from the Artisan Arcade. Um, I'll leave their link below. Oh, very nice. Right, first pass there. Just tidy up a bit there. As you can see, I don't completely rinse off between passes. I like to leave the uh, leftover slipness on the face for the next pass. Let it build up. I would call this a mild razor. This is the um, the CB. Which I think stands for cobbled head. There's some a little bit of blade feel. 
doesn't feel dangerous at all. There is some slight blade overhang. I prefer this head over the uh, the standard. I think it's called. Was it SC head, I think? The other head, anyway. And definitely, uh, I also prefer it over the melon head. But, each your own. I know a lot of people love that, the melon head razor. tried to like it a few times but I bought three or four of them and then had to give them away just uh, just doesn't suit me it's another lovely pass lovely all right Put another layer on You can see this leather is very stable. Beautiful. I'll just put a little bit of alum on my fingers again. I'm using this uh, crystal deodorant stick as my alum. I pick it up from Chemist Warehouse. I'm trying to get as close to glasses as I can. If I take the glasses off, I can't see what I'm doing, so... <laughs> Lovely residual. You can't go wrong with this soap. I don't know why you need anything better. Gives you slipness, gives you protection. Gives you plenty of residual. Great scent range. And you can buy samples, like I said, I've, I've bought about 20 samples so far. From those uh, 20 odd samples, I bought four soaps that I like, four scents, four tubs. I'll add to that, probably add the wrangling man to that one. Definitely get it done in the future. using a light touch because I can feel a bit of blade. We should use a light touch anyway, sorry. <laughs> it shouldn't be a big cause in there. Oh, it's very smooth, getting a good shave. Right, let's do the upper lip. I'll be quiet for a minute.
It's always a difficult spot there. Most of my nicks come from this area. Normally from that stroke going um, against the grain. Right, let's have a little feel around, get some water. Just the usual spots. Right, just do a touch up around the neck and around the chin. Upper lip area is fine. We'll leave that. Uh, still got plenty of leather. Probably enough for another shave. bit in that area there but it's just terrible difficult to get that I mean I could do it if I went over it about ten times it's not worth it Feeling pretty good. My cheek's feeling lovely. The cheeks are very smooth. Right, we'll call it a shave. Just do a quick rinse and we'll uh, go over with the alum, see how it went. I think it went pretty close on the lip, upper lip there. So a bit, expect a bit of uh, sting from up there. Stinging around the neck area. Yep. Up a loop, both sides. Ah, oh, that's a close shave. I've seen any major irritation, but it should be right. All right, uh, there is a bit of leather left. I'll put that on my face and we'll go and have my shower. I just put it 
it on. Over the top of the alum. Or oh, you can wash the alum off. Up to you. All right, I'll go and have my shower. I'll catch you for the post shave and um, summary. Hi there, back from the shower. Everything's good. No major damage. And lovely and smooth. Oh, it feels really good. Everywhere. Just that little spot there, but you can never get that bottom. Right, let's put the uh, pre-shave on. We're starting off with a bit of Dickinson's witch hazel, which I've put a little bit of, check it up, put a little bit of um, menthol in there. A few sprinkles. It doesn't have a lot of menthol. I can just only feel it. I can put a bit more in easily. I still get the the woody smell from the witch hazel. Follow that up with a bit of Lucky Tiger vanishing cream. Another mentholated product. Eucalyptus and menthol. I don't, after the shower, I don't feel any soreness anywhere. So it's uh, pretty good, very good. Lovely dovely. All right, uh, we'll go over the products now. The soap was Sterling Rambling Man, a lovely scent, very practical soap and very uh, economical. I only used half a teaspoon and probably could even use a bit less. Um, oh, a blade, yeah, this is a blade, a Rapira Swedish Super Steel. And the razor, where'd I put it? Here it is. Razor was the Yaki. Uh, DE head with uh, the CB specifications or cobble head. The cobble head has those vertical slots in the safety bar. And it's got the Quo handle on it. It's a lightweight handle. I think it's only about uh, 50 grams, 48, somewhere around there. And the bowl we went with was Whispers from the Woods. It's a lovely bowl. Easily produced, lovely leather from that. It's got a nice deep bowl and it's got a little lip here to stop the the leather foamy now, or prevent it anyway. And the pre shave was our Verde activated charcoal glycerin soap. Oh, the brush. Can't forget the brush. Brush was the Shave by Dave brush. Rock pool with the uh, cashmere, 26mm cashmere knot. I'll just see if I can get it in the light a little bit more. Oh, no, it just shines off it. Okay. And that's it. I'll just uh, use a bit of blue Stravis today as a final ingredient. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Because those layers of witch hazel and balm, I don't get a lot of skin from uh, aftershaves. Get a little bit. Oh, it's lovely. 
That's not a bad match to the Ramley Man. Alright, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching everyone. And we'll see you on my next shave, which will be Wednesday. Cheers!